last but not the least my husband. I remember the first time I went to Malaysia for an Asian Championship in 2017. He said, get gold. And I laughed it off and I said, ki aise thodi hota hai. And uh, since then to now, without him, without his guidance, without his unending support and understanding, unke bina ye bilkul possible nahi hota. And I'm also very, very glad to say that uh, JBG Indiora 101, uh, who supported me and extended their sponsorship. It was very kind-hearted of them because for a uh, sponsor to invest in an athlete, they have to believe in that sport. So while our country believes a lot into cricket, football, hockey is a national game, I'm sure aap log ne bhi kai logo ne kettlebell ke baare mein suna nahi hoga. So I would also like to extend my warm and heartfelt gratitude to JBG Indiora 101 for helping me and coming on board. And uh, that is it and last but not the least, I'm proud of myself that I've been consistent in the game and uh, that's about it. I think now so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, a little bit about Kettlebell Sport and myself that I will just introduce. Uh, I am the representative for India in Kettlebell Sport in the Federations, ITSF and ITMF. Uh, I've been, I've had the pleasure of coaching Shivani since uh, five years now. Uh, I've seen her grow every day as an athlete, as a person, as a mother, as a wife, and she is uh, someone who I have been very inspired and very lucky to uh, have been uh, coaching her for so long. Uh, one important thing about kettlebell sport is that I personally believe that kettlebell sport is not just a sport about how many reps or how much time you lift. It's, it's an emotion. If you have the emotion, if you love the sport, it will give you back much more than what you can give the sport. And uh, I think the best move here is Giovanni. Uh, she started out with me when she was, uh, I think, I don't know, earlier. Yes, uh, a little after pregnancy. 2016, we started our home coaching. I met you six months after that. And Shivani has made us proud and she has made the country proud. But it was not a very smooth passage. It needed a lot of dedication, a lot of sacrifices. So here she is. I'm very proud of her. Thank you. Uh, we have only talked to the state government we are reaching out to them. Support is looking for a time to understand these things because the sport honestly has been growing for the last 2-3 years. Again, you have a lot of coverage in this paper, in magazines. Pe. So, it's growing. We are positive. We are confident that very soon the sport will be recognized and we will get support for a few because again, a financial aspect of it. If you like the sport, you have to go and travel and travel and travel. So we need that support, we need that help. So there is some positive movement definitely. I will not discuss too much about it, but hoping that in the near future, we will support it. And the stature of someone like the Honorable Prime Minister, for me, it's a very, very overwhelming feeling. Luckily, you know, play the game. Because until now, we are not paid to lift. But yes, a recognition in terms of knowing the sport. Like I had gone and I met the sports ministry here. So on his list, me kettlebell sports high nahi. So he said through you, for the first time, we came to know that there is a sport like this. So I think once thoda sa aur support aur recognition mile, and I think with these stalwarts in the industry, which is uh, Mr. Anup Sarkar because he's the pioneer of the sports in the country and he himself holds a record which is unbeaten. He likes to not speak about it properly but uh, that is the case. So I think Vesa Milne say not only us, a lot of athletes will come forward and in a country which is essentially a sports loving country, we can also transform into a sports playing country. You see, I'm a mother. I'm uh, practicing uh, chartered accountancy. I am 40 years of age now. But I, as I said, I only see my kettlebell career start. So this is